All right, we're moving on to Spawn Issue 3, you know, moving up in the world. So yeah, let's start this story. Spawn has finally figured out his wife's name, Wanda. And he's starting to put back pieces of his life together. He's thinking about old friends, brothers. He's thinking about his mom and dad. He's like, oh, well, hope they won't mind a walking corpse coming into their life. Yeah, dude, no problem. Spawn is now starting to ask quest more questions <laughs> about the situation. He's kind of confused about what's happening because weird things are happening. Like he didn't know the Violator is and he was sure that the Violator would have some knowledge about who Spawn was, which he does, but we'll get into that later. And for now, Spawn is focusing on one simple task and that's finding his wife. At the moment, Spawn doesn't know who he made a deal with, but he knows it's some kind of devil. And right now, he's kind of saying that Malbolgia, which is the person he made the deal with, better be freaking prepared, because Spawn's gonna come after his ass. This oversized rat-looking bastard Malbolgia is saying how Spawn's threats honestly don't matter to him, and that Spawn doesn't know what he's in for. Within the pits of hell, Malbolgia is stating how Spawn made a deal with the devil and how he didn't read the fine print. It seems that Spawn has infiltrated the CIA headquarters and while this boss is being a perv, Spawn has been seeping through the files. Sperm. I almost called Spawn Sperm. Holy shit. Okay. Spawn. <laughs> I oh god. Uh, anyway, Spawn lifts Miller up with one, <laughs> with one hand choking him, and he threatens him because obviously Miller was being a perv, and Spawn tells him that some people would kill to have a wife like that because Miller's wife divorced him, and he's not paying any child support, and he's off doing this shit, so Spawn interrogates him and threatens him. Spawn continues to threaten Miller, and the Violator is loving the fact that Spawn is starting to turn evil and malicious and violent. Not really evil, but violent in general, because that's the spark he needs to be the leader of Hell's Army. While Spawn is scavenging through the CIA files to find more information about his wife, he finds a pretty big surprise. In preparation to go see his wife, Spawn decides to shapeshift back into the white man because that's the only form he really knows how to change into right now because he doesn't really have a hold of his powers perfectly. And he's going to go see his wife. Spawn, seeing his wife for the first time, gets all like flustered and shit with the little dog on the side. Grr! Uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's getting all nervous. And this is the first time we get introduced to Cyan. It's pretty crazy. She's super young, and Wanda explains how she couldn't have children for some reason, but the truth is that Spawn was sterile, so <laughs> he couldn't really have kids. Spawn then faints because of the fact that he realized he couldn't deliver a child, and in this moment when he wakes up, he realizes that Terry is officially married to Wanda, and Terry was his best friend, so he's in a state of hell right now. So Spawn is describing to Wanda the situation that he's in right now, because obviously she doesn't know he's Spawn, so that he could see her side of things. And all of the odds are stacked against them, and he's so pissed because of this, and then right on time, the Violator arrives, teasing Spawn once again. The Violator then morphs into his true form, and he tells Spawn how he knows that he was in the military as Al Simmons. And he says they could have a million little laughs together. This proves that the Violator has known about Spawn this whole time. The Violator then removes his heart because Spawn threatens him. Now something you guys have to keep in mind is that Spawn is at a stage right now where he almost feels as if he's still human. He still reacts instinctively to things. So let's say Spawn is underwater. He'll still think he's drowning at like this point because he doesn't know he doesn't need his organs to survive spawn does not need any of his organs to survive and that he's about to demonstrate so in this final shot we get an epic cool look at how spawn does not need a heart to survive like i said he doesn't need any organs to live they're just there in placement because 
that's what he was shaped like when he was a human. So, this wraps up issue 3 of Spawn. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you didn't, then you're a chicken wing as usual. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bam.